Hey GearFax friends, well if you're a lover of good design, I think you're going to enjoy this video. Although I guess you have to enjoy vintage keyboards as well. Anyway, this one is the Lincoln Chordmaster. Let's open it up. There we go. Let's just take a moment to soak in this beautiful design. We'll switch it on and we'll hear a fan starting up. Because this is a reed organ, it's got a fan inside which forces air through the reeds that make these notes. And just zooming in a little, you'll see that we've got our chord buttons here as well, accordion style. So, bass notes, major chords, minor, seventh, diminished. There you have it, your accompany section on the left and your classic chromatic scale on the right. Here we've got a missing key, but there is a little metal bar underneath that allows you to play the note perfectly, if you call that perfect. As far as the actual timbre goes, there's nothing else to show you. This is it. But we will run through a few of these chords because they sound particularly deep and nice. So I was jumping in and out of keys there, but you can imagine the interesting progressions that you can make with those combined with your melody here. Let's try something at random. Better stick to C, I suppose. Even for a person who has no idea about music theory really at all, if you've got a basic idea of which notes make up which chords, you can really come up with some interesting melodies. I've never tried that before and I was relatively in tune there and sounding reasonably coherent. So that's quite exciting. This could provide a real education for someone in terms of how chords and songs are structured. I might turn the fan off for the rest of this video so that we can scroll around a little bit and have a look at this case. Up there on the side, right about here, you can see four holes. That's to screw the legs off so that they can fit into each of these holes at the fat end. And right over here at the other end, there's a tiny little holder and that's where the feet go in. You just unscrew this and then there's a little door to put those feet in and your legs are stored neatly across the top. The whole thing closes up into a very nicely colored and nicely designed little suitcase. So when fully assembled and upright and ready to go, it's a pretty cool looking thing. I'll leave it up to you to sort of think about or decide exactly how the sound that this one makes could be applied to a band or a ensemble of some kind. But we'll finish off by having one more little look inside. I've never had one of these before until this week where I got two of them, so I'll put a link up to the review of the other one. And here are some links to some other things that might be of some interest as well. Thanks as always for watching Gear Facts, guys. Please like, comment or subscribe and I'll see you next time.